Would you love to have lots of energy? Raise your hand if that's true for you. Those of you online can type yes in the chat box. And what would you do with it? How would you use it? Would it give you time for more outings with your family? Space for your business to grow? Time to travel or do more of your hobbies? Here's the secret that I'm going to share with you today. We always have energy. What you are going to learn is how to harness it to your benefit. Thus, you can turn to your neighbor and say, I unlock unlimited energy. Those of you online, type into the chat, I unlock unlimited energy. Go ahead and turn to your neighbor and say, I unlock unlimited energy. I unlock unlimited energy. Woo! I unlock I unlock unlimited energy. My name is Avital. Siri thinks my name is I'll be tall. <laughs> There's still hope for me. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much, Gary, for having me on your stage. What we are going to do tonight is explore how to unlock energy for purposeful results. Do you remember nap time in preschool? I remember laying in those little cots, patiently waiting for nap time to be over. I never took naps. By my mid-twenties, I had already been a program manager at Microsoft. I was a fitness director, a yoga and fitness teacher trainer. I was teaching 25 to 30 classes all over town. I was known as the Energizer Bunny. Then I took a trip to Israel for my sister's wedding there. And I found myself on the couch most of the trip napping. I was so embarrassed. And maybe you remember a time when you felt embarrassed about something you didn't have control over. I went home and continued to have a fever for a couple of months. I was teaching one of my spinning classes, and my face turned so flesh white that my students told me to go to the hospital. We couldn't figure out what was wrong, and I was just getting worse. So bad that I was starting to wonder if I was going to die. But something inside me knew that I had a long future ahead of me, sharing and helping people a lot. So I knew I had to do something about it. And that's when I started to look into what made me an energizer before. What makes us tired? What makes us more energetic? And I interviewed all different kinds of health and healing experts, some who had healed themselves or been part of the healing with their clients of terminal diagnoses. That's actually what went into my book, Healing Happens. This won four awards and hit bestseller on Amazon. With that energy, I was able to travel the world to hike up 14ers and, of course, to dance up a storm. Would you like to know how? Yes. Okay. <laughs> In that case, here's what we're going to do. Figure out how to instantaneously shift your energy. Tap into natural resources of energy. Determine what are energizing attitudes. Gain helpful perceptions about life. And then also,
also practice easy techniques that you can do on your own that provide lasting energy. And do you know what having more energy does for you? Drum roll, please. <laughs> it helps increase your motivation, believe it or not. And who loves to problem solve, to easily figure out how to get through the challenges that come up? I like to call that coming up with super conscious solutions. And then you're going to experience more joy, be able to do more of what you love, and then also be more efficient and productive at your work. Would you like some of that? Yeah. Okay. Before we get into the techniques, I want to make sure that we're on the same page with what the term energy means. Have you ever heard somebody say, I don't have energy? Maybe you said it yourself. Here's the key. We always have energy. It's just a matter of whether or not we tap into it. It's kind of like trying to put two batteries into a remote control, but one of them is turned backwards. The energy is there. It's just not transmitting. You're not using all of the energy available to you. Do you remember in science class that they mentioned that everything is made of energy? It just changes from one form to another, right? From solid, from water, to gas, to air. And you can rub your hands together and you'll feel some heat on your hands. And that is heat energy. That is another form of energy. And you simply experience that by creating movement in your body. Fascinating that we can tap into that. But this is why I prefer to use this term instead to describe high energy and low energy. What does this say? Energetic. Energetic. So what I prefer is that we say, I want to feel more energetic. You always have energy, but what changes is, do you feel the energy? Thus, do you feel energetic? You may have heard of the yoga guru Paramahansa Yogananda. He's world renowned for helping people feel more happy and more energy. He said in the pinch of his skin, he could light the entire city of Chicago. I don't feel he said that to show off, but rather to let us know what is our human potential for tapping into an unlimited supply of energy. And what builds energy? Is it food? Because do you remember one of the last really huge meals that you had like Thanksgiving and you felt tired afterwards? Food doesn't always do the trick. What about sleep? Have you ever experienced sleep where you slept so long and then you woke up still tired? Somehow the sleep wasn't refreshing. So that doesn't always work either to lift our energy up to help us feel more energetic. So what is it? The three components of energy, I like to call QQD. The first quantity. Quantity. I want you all to shake your hands. These are jazz hands if you remember taking dance class when you were younger. And then say quantity with me. Quantity. Fabulous. I know you didn't know you'd be dancing. The second. 
Quality. Say this and do this with me. Quality. Yeah, kind of like you're surfing. I know this might seem a little silly, but I actually designed this talk specifically to help keep your energy high, including writing on the newsprint pad. It's kind of like you actually have a supply of a hundred of those batteries and you just need to line them all up in the right direction. That gives us our third component of energy. And that is direction. Say this and do this with me. Direction. direction. Very good. Let's review. Quantity. Quality. Direction. One more time. Quantity. Quality. Direction. Beautiful. I am having dance auditions after this from my dance company, and you are all welcome to come apply. <laughs> what in the world does this mean? You can draw this with me. First, you're going to make a circle. And then we're going to make a target in the middle of the circle. Your goal is to hit the target with as big of an impact as you can because you want big impact with your business, right? Yeah. So you can shoot an arrow and hit the target, yes? Okay. But you have an entire bucket of arrows sitting right next to you that you could utilize. So what happens if you start adding more arrows to hit that target? You have a bigger impact. You use a greater quantity of arrows to create a bigger impact. Now my guess is the first time that you tried, you probably didn't hit the target. It might have looked more like this, right? Not quite direct or not quite hitting the target. And this is where your quality may need a little bit of work. And you might remember just starting your business and flailing a little until you started taking coaching with Gary. And by the way, when we're talking about quality, we're also thinking about how do we most efficiently do things so that we're not spending time doing things that are not producing the results that we want. And Gary's going to have a time management section this weekend in the boot camp, so I highly recommend you stay for that. Okay, so we just did quantity, quality, and then what's the third one? Direction. Direction. Yeah. Okay, so if I shoot the arrow the other way, what happens? It's not hitting the target. Let's relate direction a little more to real life. When you're sad and tired, what's the position of your body? You can all act this out. Those of you at home, make sure you're doing this. I can't see you. Okay. <laughs> When you're happy, excited, and energetic, what's your body position? Let me see it. There you go. It is what direction? Up. The direction is up. Have you seen a child do this? The children are out playing. The energy is high. They're all up high. And mom brings out the popsicles. It's time for the popsicles. But there aren't enough red popsicles for everyone. And the child who didn't get the red popsicle is on the floor throwing a tamper tantrum. I want a red popsicle. All of a sudden, mom finds a red popsicle in the back of the freezer and pulls it out. And the child is in joy again, way up high in the air. Now, the quantity was high there, yes. The quantity was also high here and here. But where was 
the direction? Up, down, up. Which direction makes you feel better? Up. So we all agree that we prefer the up direction. Keep that in mind for when we do the techniques. When I lived in the yoga community, we did what are called energization exercises every single day. Do you know I lived there almost seven years and I cannot recall a single time that anybody complained of being tired. Thus, we're actually going to do a shortened version of those exercises called super conscious living exercises. What I want you all to do is to stand up and spread out. If you cannot get out of your chair, then you can do this in your chair or stand somewhere close to where you have something to hang on to. And while you all spread out, I'm actually going to get myself more comfortable and take my shoes off. Okay. Well, we're all going to dance together now. I want you to walk in place and bring your knees up high. And you're going to repeat after me. I am awake and ready. 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 Wonderful. Bring your arms to the side. Forward and up above. The words are I am positive, energetic, and enthusiastic. You can jump as high as you want to on that third one. Here we go. I am positive, energetic, and enthusiastic. A little louder. I want to hear more energy. I am positive, energetic, and enthusiastic. Okay, now I want the people in the next room to wonder what in the world is going on in here. So with your full energy, as if there is an unlimited supply, which means the more you put into this, the more energetic you're going to feel. Here we go. Let's hear your best. I'm positive, energetic, and enthusiastic. Okay, knock your arms. I am master of my body. I am master of myself. I am master of my body. I am master of myself. Rub your entire body. Awake, rejoice, my body cells. Awake, rejoice, my body cells. Awake, rejoice, my body cells. Knock your head. Be glad, my brain. Be wise and strong. Yeah. My brain, be wise and strong. Be glad, my brain. Be wise and strong. Strong. Massage your head, moving the skin on top of your scalp. Awake, my sleeping children, wake. Awake, my sleeping children, wake. Yeah, if you're worried about your hair, how your hair looks, well, now you can make it look even better. <laughs> how do you feel now? Do you feel more energetic? That just took two minutes. Amazing how much it can shift over a small amount of time. Imagine this, you're having this amazing dinner party with your friends before COVID, of course, and you're just talking and laughing till so late in the evening, the dishes are piled up, but you have to go to work early the next morning. So you leave the dishes, go to bed, you get up the next day, go to work, and it is a long, stressful day. You go home and you're really tired and the dishes are still stacked high. And then you're frustrated that nobody helped put the dishes away in your house. All you want to do is plop on the couch and be lazy. You can sit down and show me what that looks like. You are tired. You are frustrated. And you just need to relax because those dishes are way too much for you to handle right now. Your phone rings. Of course, you have your phone right on you. It happens to be your best friend from college who's in town just that night and wants to spend the evening with you. What happens? You get up off the couch, you go take a shower, and then you head out for a night on the town. All of a sudden, you felt more energetic. What I call this is <coughs> What 
does that say? Willing. Willingness. <laughs> Willingness shifts the quality of your energy so you feel more energetic. My question to you is what attitudes could you shift or what could you shift in your life so that you're truly doing the things that you feel willing about or you figure out how to be willing to do them? I had this lady come into one of my yoga classes looking like a homeless person. Her hair was disheveled, her clothes were all over the place, her body was scrunched down, and she would barely look at me or talk. She left the meditation session like this. She signed up for my meditation group. After a few weeks, she was walking in with her clothes organized, her hair brushed, her body taller, a smile on her face. She was more energetic. She told me that her family said she was more enjoyable to be around. Thus, you might be able to guess what the third technique that I want to share with you is, and it is about direction. Do this with me. Direction. Yes. So the word is... Meditation. What I actually want you to do is sit forward on your chair so your feet are planted firmly on the floor. And then draw your shoulders up towards your ears and then slowly open them back and down, letting them relax and your heart be open. Turn your palms upwards on your lap. Let the crown of your head, the top back of your head, float up towards the sky. Good. We talked about direction before. Scientists have found that when people are using intuition, the prefrontal lobe, the point between the eyebrows, is stimulated. So go ahead and touch the point between your eyebrows. And you can even scrunch the muscles around there so you can feel it. Yeah, you can make a funny face if you want. Okay, and relax your hand down and close your eyes. And then gaze just slightly upwards as if you're looking at that point. And imagine that you are stimulating the prefrontal lobe and intuition so that you can have more of those super conscious solutions, which gives you more time and more energy. Feel the sensation of your breath coming in and out of your nose, the cool air coming in and the warm air leaving. Then really pay attention to that sensation actually being at that point between the eyebrows because the bridge is really where the breath enters and leaves the body. You can imagine a beautiful white golden light there. And imagine that you're shooting all of your arrows, the entire quantity of them, directly up through the center of your spine to that point. Continue three more breaths. Slowly open your eyes. Take a double inhale, tense all of the muscles in your body. Double exhale, release. I mentioned the yoga guru Paramahansa Yogananda earlier. He said, the greatest enemy of yourself is yourself. What can you do to get out of your own way? Are you going to make the choice to do what you have control over? 
For those of you who want to make the choice to keep your energy high this weekend, I have three invitations for you. They all involve coming to my booth. The first one is that you can pick up the handout of the super conscious living exercises. Those of you online type energy into the chat and I will send you the link to those exercises. The second thing is 30 minutes before the doors open each morning, come visit my booth and we are going to do those super conscious living exercises to help keep you accountable to keep your energy high. And then lastly, when you visit my booth, you may also be thinking, you know, I want a more individualized plan of how I'm going to keep my energy high. And I need to know more specifically what's been keeping it down. And we can set up a 15 minute discovery session at no cost for you. So those are three things that you can do at my booth. And let's just review really quickly what the three QQDs are. So let's see this quantity, quality, and direction. Good. I just wanted to make sure you could all still audition for my dance company. With that, I have a surprise for you. ballerina, but I always wanted to, you know, do those 20 bows on stage. Thank you all so much for being here. I look forward to connecting with you some more. All right. I'll be talking to Lee.